tail skid on and actually intentionally strike the runway and find out just how slow you can go and take off. We've got uh, six airplanes in the flight test program right now, so all six of them are up and flying in various places around the world. This is a wet runway test that we did. I think this was in Victorville, California. And we've got airplanes. Uh, they've been in uh, Iceland, now Keflavik, Iceland. Uh, I think uh, one goes to La Paz, Bolivia, for a uh, high altitude takeoff and landing testing in a couple weeks. Also done uh, a whole series of uh, takeoff and landing performance tests, different uh, different gross weights, different CGs. A very very extensive flight test program. Six airplanes uh, in the, the flight test fleet. This is probably one of the more more challenging flight tests. Severe crosswind, so we have to certify that the airplane can take off and land in up to 35 knots of uh, crosswind. It's uh, most exciting on the land, you can see here in a minute. You can see the airplane comes in at a very severe crab angle with its nose into the wind. One of the more exciting flight tests for our pilots. <laughs> Comes in at this very severe angle, and then just as it uh, gets down and touches the runway, straightens out the nose. So about 10 months into this program, very successful so far, really very few uh, surprises in the flight test program. This last one is one that typically is the most exciting, the maximum brake energy. This is a fully loaded airplane, half a million pounds, from about 230 knots to a dead stop. So about three quarters of a billion foot pounds that that works out to. You can see the, the brakes are, carbon brakes are glowing red hot, about 4,000 degrees. But this is a, a FAA certification test. The firemen can't put water on for at least five minutes. So that's the, the rough time that we figure it will take the fire crew to get there in a real incident. So you have to, uh, let it go. You can see the uh, fuse plugs and the tires all uh, melt and uh, prevent the tires from exploding. So that's a test. It's normally actually much more exciting than that. You'll see videos of previous planes with uh, a lot of flame. But this was uh, really, really successful. We actually turned that around. That was done one day. You hose down the axles so you don't lose them. And then uh, we put uh, the second brake on. We offer Goodrich and Nessie Bugatti brakes. And then the next day, do exactly the same thing. So, so very, very uh, severe set of tests. Um, in terms of production, this is a, a view of our final assembly line in Everett, Washington. Uh, very simple final assembly. I'll say a little bit more about that. Four, four positions, one line that will uh, eventually produce up to 10 airplanes a month, which again is higher than any, uh, any twin hour airplane in history. But also, just uh, as if that's not complicated enough, uh, we are also at the same time before certifying the, uh, the basic airplane, uh, designing and starting to build the uh, first family member, which is actually my responsibility right now, the stretch version of the airplane, which is, is called the Dash 9, about 50,000 pound uh, increase in gross weight, a six meter stretch. So, so while we're certifying the first airplane, building at already rates of about two a month, uh, we're also right in the middle of developing the first uh, 